How to survive and thrive in an age of conflict. It's possible. And do it with power and grace and its spiral impact. This video, Possible Meets Spiral Impact, I'm going to provide you with five different thoughts around conflict and negotiation. So I'm Karen Valencic and I am the founder and author of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. And I've been working in the, the field of leadership and team development for about three decades. I specialize in conflict mastery. And this book by William Urey is fantastic. Um, William Urey, he is the co-author of the book Getting to Yes, which is from the Harvard Negotiation Project. That's a book that I've used as a supplement book in many classes that I have taught on conflict. What I'm excited about with Yuri's book and my book is they weave together so beautifully. This is the first of three videos. Each one of these videos is gonna focus on one of his victories and I'm going to weave in his key concepts with key concepts of spiral impact as well. So the first victory is going to the balcony and that, that vision gives you that idea of going up high so you can see and have perspective. And that's so very important in conflict and negotiations as well. I often say go to the top of a skyscraper and look down because from there you get a lot of perspective. So Yuri's book, he shares three different segments, pause, zoom in and zoom out, which fits well with that spiral. So first of all, let's talk about pause. Pause in my work I call centering, but it's that, that time that we do for ourselves to find our internal balance that we can come to a negotiation or a conflict and really be solid and have perspective, have the wherewithal to ask the questions and explore so we can get the best possible outcome. And that's pause. And my work is grounded in the martial arts. I look at that as centering, which is any great martial artist has that center, that place of power within themselves. I probably go through more ways of developing that in spiral impact. But you know, one of the key things is really taking on a breathing practice and getting used to really coming back to yourself so again you can be totally present when the negotiation or the conflict occurs so pause is such a key thing to prevent destructive conflict the second segment he talks about is to zoom in and if you have read getting to yes they talk about the difference between positions and interest and those are very distinctly different. What you want to do is negotiation and conflict is you want to learn about interests. He gives a, a wonderful short story in this book that I think is also in Getting to Yes about two people at the library and they're, the window is open and there's a breeze coming through. One person wants that window shut, that's their position. The other person wants that window open that's their position. If they try to negotiate and solve that conflict based upon their position, they often will get stuck. Instead, it gets down to asking questions and layers of why do you want the window open? Why do you want it closed? And in this short story, the, the person that wants it open is warm and wants some fresh air. The person that wants it closed has a problem with the draft coming and blowing his papers. When they learned that, they came up with another solution that fit both of their needs, both of their interests, and that is to open a window in another room so the, the, the draft doesn't affect the paper, but you get fresh air. So positions and interests. In Spiral Impact, I approach this a little bit differently that also can open your eyes to what the interests are or the intention. I ask people to reflect upon the conflict and think about what is it that you want that you do not have because of that conflict that is independent of the other person involved. And so that gets again down into that why of interest. I often use the example if I think that blue is the best way, the best approach, but my colleague thinks that green is the best approach. Those are positions that we have if we stay stuck at the level of position, we don't get movement. But in that case, if I think about what is it that I want that I don't have that's not dependent 
on that other position. I think I want our customers to have the best possible product. That's what I want. And so from there, we can start a different conversation. Segment number three is to zoom out. Zooming out, we're still on the balcony, but zooming out is now we're, we're not zooming in on the, on the interest, but now we're zooming out in terms of what is the long range, the bigger picture perspective. And again, that for me gets back into intention, which I talk a lot about in Spiral Impact. Also about, in Yuri's book, about BATNA. Now, if you've read Getting to Yes, you probably know what that means. BATNA stands for the best alternative to a negotiated agreement. And when you have that BATNA, that's what's gonna happen if you don't get what you want in the negotiation. What's the next best thing? And what's really beautiful about the next best thing is when you have that established, you can actually have more hope for solving the negotiation because you have a good backup. And that's really an important thing. Because as Yuri says, a negotiation doesn't necessarily mean coming to an agreement. So when you have that BATNA, that's a good thing. What struck me the most in this segment is what he calls the worst alternative to a negotiated agreement. And that is really looking at what's the worst thing that could happen. Now, on a lot of levels, which you and I might be dealing with, is maybe the worst thing is that you know, we're not gonna die from this. Maybe the worst thing isn't awful, which is a good perspective. But he goes back to the Reagan years when he was still with Harvard and they were studying the disagreement that Gorbachev and Reagan had around nuclear power. And it was very scary if you were alive back then. I remember that. They were actually tasked with what is the worst alternative to a negotiated agreement. And of course, nuclear war is not a win for anyone. So they actually studied and suggest, were suggesting these nuclear risk watch places. There was a lot of disagreement between Reagan and Gorbachev, and there was a movie that came out back then that highlighted the horrors of nuclear war. And that triggered the negotiations with Gorbachev and Reagan to implement this nuclear risk watch um, centers so that there could be some really level heads when things seem threatening. That to me is very interesting, is what's the worst thing that can happen? Because the worst thing that can happen can be a real motivator. Okay, so that is on the balcony. The next two victories are building a golden bridge and engaging the third side. And I will be covering those in a different video. So subscribe here and you'll get notice of when those other videos are available if they're not here yet. Thanks so much for listening in and until next time, thank you so very much. Bye-bye.